Hello, my name is Dr. Sherwood McClellan III, MD. I am Director of Spinal Oncology uh, and Assistant Professor of Radiation Oncology and Neurosurgery at the University Hospitals, Seidman Cancer Center, Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio. And I have the privilege of discussing one of the abstracts uh, that uh, my lab has submitted uh, for, that has been accepted at ASCO. Uh, this abstract looks at uh, the prognosis accuracy of medical oncology and how it relates to patients being enrolled on an ongoing trial. Uh, the ongoing trial in this instance uh, was our um, a spine patient uh, optimal uh, radiosurgery treatment of symptomatic neoplasms sportsman trial. It's a phase two randomized controlled trial that officially opened in January 2023. And during the first year of the trial, we examined uh, what proportion of patients who were uh, cleared from a medical oncology prognosis standpoint actually uh, lived as long as medical oncology prognosticated. One of the inclusion criteria of the trial is that patients had to have a prognosis of at least three months. All patients on this trial, by definition, had symptomatic uh, spine metastatic disease, so they were all uh, stage four. And 27 patients total uh, were considered for uh, trial uh, inclusion and assigned a prognosis by medical oncology. Um, uh, of those, um, the medical oncology prognosis rate overall uh, was about 56% accurate. So 44% of patients that medical oncology said uh, prognosticated would live at least three months did not. Um, for inpatients, this rate was about 68%. For outpatients, this rate was about 25%, and that was statistically significant. So what we found was that medical oncology um, prognosis was optimistic uh, by a a little more than 40%. And this seems high, but it actually is uh, consistent with literature from Japan, uh, the US, and other countries that shows this uh, prognosis rate, uh, estimation rate to be high. Uh, this is important for clinical trials because when trials uh, require a prognosis for oncology, medical oncologists are typically giving those. And so if you're going to design a trial that is based on this, and you assume that the medical oncology prognosis rate is 90 to 100 percent, you're going to overshoot by quite a bit and consequently under-enroll patients. And this may lead to studies that uh, end up not accruing or having uh, too little power to determine what you're actually shooting for. So basically what we found was that medical oncology uh, prognosis is optimistic, especially for patients who are inpatient. And so this must be uh, kept in mind when considering uh, patients. For this reason, uh, our lab has uh, started working on a heuristic scale uh, to more objectively quantify um, prognosis in patients. And uh, this is uh, underway, and uh, we uh, expect to present this uh, in the near future. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.